everybody and welcome to another how-to video. Today I want to show you how to make a really simple loading and unloading system. I use this all the time in farms and things like that. Anywhere I'm using like a hopper minecart system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it and then I will show you how to build it and then go really specific into how it works. The first thing I'm going to show you is an unloading system. I use this all the time. And basically what we've got here is a rail line. This could go off to a farm or, or wherever you want to collect items. And then it comes back this way. And you can see here I've got a powered rail that bumps into a block. So when the minecart comes along this way and hits this powered rail, it'll just go back in the direction it came. And you can see this powered rail is sitting on top of a hopper. And this hopper is facing sideways. That's pretty important. I'll get back to that. The way that this is receiving power is this torch right here is powering this block and the repeater is taking that signal and pushing it into this block, which in turn powers this rail right here. Let me go ahead and put a hopper minecart on here and that'll start going back and forth. And you can see every time it comes here, it just changes direction, goes off again. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some items in here. And what you'll notice is once it gets over the hopper, these items will start flowing through and they're flowing down to here. This comparator is measuring what is inside of the hopper. And since there's stuff in there, this powers on, sends a signal into this block, which turns this torch off. Since the torch is off, there's no power here. And so the hopper minecart just sits there until it unloads. Once it's done, this guy flips off, power comes back and it sends it on its way again. Now, again, it's pretty important that this goes sideways, this hopper right here because if it's pointing straight down, the items are gonna move a little too quickly for the comparator to register. So that's the only thing to keep in mind there. Otherwise, really, really simple. Great for collecting things in farms, pretty much fits in anywhere. I'm just gonna come down here so that you can screenshot it if you want, because it's a pretty simple design. So the next thing I wanna show you is a loading system. I use something like this in my uh, super smelter, you know, where I have a furnace array and I just want to put items like coal into a chest and have it disperse it for me. The way this works is almost the opposite of what we did before. You can see we've got the rail line with the powered uh, rail right here, and that is being powered by this torch. This torch sends signal here, the repeater pushes it into the block, and that's what lights it up. Now with something like this, I like to use a minecart that has a chest in it, and I'll show you why. So this guy's just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. And same deal, if I put some items in this chest, once they go into the hopper, the comparator is gonna measure that, send a signal into this block, which will turn this torch off and kill power to the rail. Let's grab our items, pop them in here. You can see it registers that there's stuff in here, turns that off. This guy's just gonna sit there until it fills up. And then once the comparator kicks off, it'll send it on its way again. Now in this design, I used the minecart with a chest rather than the minecart with a hopper. And the reason I did that is minecarts with hoppers load really, really fast. They move items really, really quickly. So if I put my items in here, I'll show you what happens. Notice it took off again. And what's happening is it's draining it so quickly that the comparator is kicking off for a moment and sending it back on its way. It will load eventually, but these guys just pull the items through so quickly that um, it just won't sit here for the full duration. The minecart with chest, on the other hand, it will just sit there and you can see the items move much more slowly. So it'll wait until everything moves into it and then take off. So one word of caution with this design, a chest has 27 slots in it and a minecart with chest also has 27 slots in it. The thing to notice though, is there is also one, two, three, four, five slots in a hopper. So you could potentially have more items up here than will fit in your minecart with chest. And if that is the case, you'll notice this guy's full. It's not taking any more items. And so this guy's never going to turn off. So 
The only thing with this really simple design is just make sure you don't overload your chest. Otherwise, you'll be fine. There are more advanced designs that protect for that. But again, this is just a really simple loading system. So just don't overload your chest and you'll be fine. And that's all I've got for you today. Just a couple more things to add to your repertoire of redstone. And really, that's the key to redstone. You know, once you understand how the different components behave with each other, and you know a couple of these little circuits, you can solve for bigger projects. And I'll actually talk about that in a future video, how to kind of put these things together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.